name is Karim Kamwendo. I was born in 7 August 1980. Life in Malawi, if you don't have anything to do, it's very tough. When I finished from four, that's when I moved from Malawi to come here to South Africa. Because I was just looking for a better life. After we stayed here for maybe two, three years, that's when Chris came and he started telling me, what do you think if you can start a beer family? I'm working by the Willowdale farm. We are doing beef farming here. Yeah. So Honeybee Heroes actually came by accident. We were having conversations with friends of ours around the fireplace, and they were telling us about the plight of the bees. We started doing a bit of research. We came across colony collapse disorder, a worldwide phenomenon where bees were dying across the globe. There are many factors to it. Monocropping, significant use of pesticides and herbicides, lack of habitat, all of these things combined with cheap imported fake honey is putting significant pressure on the local beekeeping industry and on the bees themselves. So what we thought we would do is create an environment where we could talk about bees. We wanted people to come down to the farm so people can understand what goes into a jar of honey. We also wanted to create a space where we didn't have to do any commercial pollination, where we could actually keep bees for the bees. Wow. Oh, there she is. I've never there seen her. Wow. We created an environment where people could adopt a beehive with their own name on it, or their family member's name, or their kid's name on it. They can come out and actually engage with their own bees. And that's what makes this project so special. We've created a community. But we have to do more. Karim and I have been talking about this since the beginning. We live in South Africa. It's a wonderful place to live. But we have to create a space where people can become beekeepers as extra income. That socio-economic overlay is where we see a significant opportunity as part of our own project. And CCFA, through the Mantis Group, is giving us that opportunity. CCFA is a non-profit organization that was founded by the Mantis Collection and the Accor Hotel Groups. We are a grant-giving and fundraising non-profit organization. And mainly what we try to do is empower, uplift, educate community members to create sustainable living to have an impact on conservation. We really feel that guests, when they are coming to South Africa, they will want to do something that creates an impact of some sort. What I loved most about Honey Bee Heroes, when I first started chatting to them, their goal wasn't necessarily about the commercial value of honey. We would like to create micro apiaries with individuals that are previously disadvantaged have an extra source of income. We hope to take community members who are based in the outskirts of a city and create their own sustainable job source. We've identified a series of communities that they actually look after the bees. We're going to show them and teach them how. And through that process, set up permanent safe apiaries. For a thousand US dollars, you can basically feed a family for life. We would like to use this project to really create a social economic development for the local communities. If you can find a way to have a rural South African with 20 beehives, that can double their annual income. Doing it just for bees is not enough. And doing it for just for people is not enough. We have to do it for bees and people together. Here at Hazendal, we're going to be setting up a mini apiary. And guests will be able to adopt their own hive. A percentage of that income will go towards us creating micro apiaries for local community members. The long-term goal is that we will have a few community members surrounding Hazendal 
that will be given their own beehives. We will educate them on how to look after them. And then between Honey Bee Heroes and ourselves, we will purchase the honey back from them. So we create a sustainable income source. Within the deli at Hasendal, you will be able to purchase a bottle of honey to take home with you. All Mantis properties will be taking part in our Adopt a Hive campaign. At the various properties, there will be small little beehives that will be in various touch points in the hotel. On those, there's a QR code. You can scan that. It will literally take you to the CCFA Adopt a Hive page. It's as simple as putting in your credit card details and uh, we will contact you with the rest. Hazendal is our pilot project we hope to roll out in most of our properties within South Africa and Africa. It's not often that you could do something and adopt something and then really see it taking flight. Your bees are here. Your adoption is permanent. You are part of the process. You're part of the family. The people came here, they get a lot of experience and they enjoy it and like I do. I enjoy it when I explain to them. For my first time, I didn't know anything, but now at least I know I'm getting very good experience. Yeah, I send money home. I try to send it as much as I can for them to get help. Because they are just sitting, thinking of going there maybe after two years, get married. If you can have two or three children, it's fine. The family that you can just manage to take care of, yes, just to have a normal life.